Okie dokie. A uh, very warm welcome to this small video at Banbury. It's 20 minutes to 11 and this is a train in the new livery going direct to Marleybone non-stop. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning and uh, we've got the family. Just turn around, there they are, look. We've got Benjamin, Matthew, Hannah and Lady June all waiting to go on the next train. There we go. Partly, partly old livery and partly new livery. And there's our little lady sitting, standing there, look, waving. There you go. She thinks she's at the seaside. She's giving a big wave. I like it. It's a nice morning. It is. I like what the meal I just want to eat this thing. Benjamin's just a low down bum. <laughs> Okay. Still a heck of a lot to be done, isn't it? Here. You what, darling? Still a heck of a lot here to be done. Here. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's looking very nice. So what I see so far. It's lovely. I think Hannah's gone to sleep. You gone to sleep, Hannah? No. You wait until I'm on the train. This is the 1054 service to Manchester Piccadilly. And what we're actually doing is waiting for the 1104 train to High Wycombe, change trains there for a train to Beaconsfield and then the children don't know it but we're taking them to Beaconscott Model Village which uh, I think is the country's largest model village. It's just about got everything. Okay so we look forward to that and hope you'll enjoy it. Well, surprise, surprise, we did not get on that train. It was absolutely packed. Lord knows where everyone's going at this time of the day. So we're waiting to see about the next one. Meanwhile, this is going up to Birmingham Moor Street. Lovely and quiet, isn't it?
don't think I can be hearing right. I swear she said platform for the... Wow, this is three in a row, that's quite good, isn't it? Twelve oh one. Twelve oh one. Well done, 16. thank you very much. No. Hello human being. Well, that's quite rare, that isn't it? Three sixty-sevens in a row, quite good. And all because we didn't get on the last train because it was packed, and now we've had to wait an hour for the twelve oh one. Kids have been very good. Okay, at long last, we're on a train going to High Wycombe. We're going to leave. This is the first time I've ever been on this line. We're going to leave the line to Oxford and go up. The incline towards Vista. The freight train just going north. There we go. There's the other line, the bridge over for the other line. To join us in a minute. There we go. Quite a curve and uh, we'll be crossing over by a couple of viaducts. One there. See the viaducts nicely from the other line, which is just down there. Are running alongside the canal. And gradually the other line disappears. Lots of rape fields coming into bloom now. Just going across another viaduct. Well, this is Vista North, never oh. been here before. So 
looks quite a nice station. <laughs> We're on the same one again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Bye. 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 Well, unfortunately, you didn't see us five people running from one platform to the other because our train was a bit late. This was at High Wycombe and we had to run. The driver was waving out of that train that's just disappeared, telling us to hurry up and get on it because he's got to go. So we now arrived at Beaconsfield. Right, okay. Nice footbridge. Going to drop down on a person any minute now. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, lovely. Boy, that wide bridge up there, look. So, there you go. Platform 2 is the 12.58 service to High Wycombe. Calling at High Wycombe only. The next train at Platform 2 is the 12.58 service to High Wycombe. Oh. Okay, so here's the train that they announced. This is going as far as High Wycombe. Train now, we'll get the other one that's go going, I think. Okay, so we're now going to move off this station. We're going to walk for five to ten minutes and then we shall be where we're hoping that these three children will really enjoy themselves. Especially me! <laughs> yes, I definitely like enjoying <laughs> This is our first look, first look at Beaconsfield. Turn left. What clans are you from? <laughs> 
boy. I first came here when I was 16 years old and I cycled on a push bike, pedal cycle. And I then came again with Nana June. What exactly is that? What exactly is here? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to let you um, is it like a see. Or it is. Oh, it's I'm going to let you into the seats that you have. Yeah, I brought you. I oh, know, when we first got married we came here. Yeah, we brought, we brought David. Yeah, more than like Mr. Hatton, Hannah. Yeah, and that David. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that's the blacksmith down there, there you go. When we go further round you'll be able to see. Can you see him? What's his name? What is the score at the cricket match? Oh, you got the elephant, you've got the elephant. Green. Green Paisley. Green Paisley. Yeah, that's the one. You've got a stone for the match, Mario. Let's have a look at yours. Okay. I think it says how many stations. Yeah. Oh, and there's one there. Black and white, that'd be Tudor. Shaky, very awkward angle I'm at at the moment. Stop to the stage. What? I 
didn't know their way around. It's alright. I'm loving the trains. Have you got, have you got any of their names yet? I've got Peter B. Peter B, okay. Is he blue?
Well, there you go. I hope that you enjoyed your visit to Beckenscott Model Village. And we're now back at Beaconsfield Station. And this train is going to um, Bicester, but we'll be getting off and changing at High Wycombe. Okay, this is High Wycombe where we have to change trains to if we want to go to Banbury. And when we was going south, see that train that's going to that platform down there? And you see that train sitting in the bay there? We had to get off of our train and we got four minutes to go down a long ramp down the subway, under the tracks, to, which brings you up at the end of this platform. Then we had to part, well, just go as fast as we could right the way up this platform, round that barrier and down the other side to get on the train for Beaconsfield. Nightmare, absolute nightmare, absolutely ridiculous. But there you go. So we're now waiting for a train to Banbury. This is just a look at High Wycombe Station. I'm not taking your photo. So there. <laughs> Who wants to take your photo anyway? You got a hole in your trousers. Yeah, yeah. Pardon? They're Are they designer trousers? 
<laughs> hey? Oh, designer leggings with holes in. <laughs> oh, dear, dear me. <laughs> monkey Hannah Bellamy. Ooh. Oops. Or Hannah Bellamy's a little monkey. Don't go fall off, please. You don't want to have to rush you to hospital. As long as you don't fall on your head, because then we'll have to call you a headbanger. Stand well away from the edge of platform two. Come in. Okay, we're going to get on the train now and go back to Banbury after a little unfortunate happening which we're not going to tell you about. <laughs> so, we're now, well, what, half an hour, well, just half an hour later. Okie dokie. This is the second attempt at trying to explain why we are still sitting at Banbury. <laughs> On leaving the model village and climbing aboard a train for High Wycombe, which was only going as far as Bister Town. A coat was left on that train, but it wasn't realised until we'd been at High Wycombe for 20 minutes. At that time, the train had gone to Bista. About five minutes before our train came in, which was a connecting train to bring us to Banbury, it was realised that the coat was missing. So, I got in touch with the guy on the platform, who was very helpful. He took me to his office and he gave me a cuddle. No, he didn't. <laughs> he took me to his office and took my details and the details of the coat. And he rang Bista Town Station because the train had been put into a side in there. So nobody could get onto it. Um, we missed our train to Banbury and caught the next one with the fact that uh, I'd given him my telephone number and if I hadn't heard from him by 7.30 tonight we'll know that he hasn't found the coat and we must contact Lost Property Office. However, on the train from High Wycombe to Banbury the, um, my phone, my mobile went and it was this guy who said uh, the coat has been found, it's now on its way from Bister to High Wycombe. When the train following yours to Banbury, which is an hour later, comes into the station, I will give the coat to the staff on that train. He said, when you get to Banbury, he said, you contact, here's the code words, to contact the guy in customer services. And um, he will then know that you're there and you're waiting for the coat. So we are sitting here now at Banbury with refreshments, waiting an extra hour for the coat to arrive. It's all very interesting, you see. But what I'd just like to say on this, if anyone from Chilton Railways uh, watches this video, I'd like to say how pleased we are and how efficient your staff are. And we were absolutely 100% impressed.
looks as if you're straining to do something.